Okay, so I found out about the Crowview Note a while ago now. So this is a 14 inch portable monitor with a trackpad and keyboard. And here it is. And probably one of the most impressive things to do is just plug in a smartphone, which gives you an operating system, a bit like DeX on a Samsung. So it prompts me to do wired projection as it's detected a display. So I press agree and it launches the desktop. And as we've got a trackpad, we can use the trackpad and we can launch apps. Uh, so say for instance, we go for YouTube and then we can do a search. So Lee PSP video. And you can see that we can launch the video and play it. And you can hear that we've got sound as well. So everything is being transferred by this one USB-C cable. But what else does it support? Well, if I unplug this phone, and plug in this Raspberry Pi. Now this comes with two boards. So this one board plugs into the HDMI and the USB-C. And then this other board transfers USB control. So that means that it supports things like sound and uh, mouse and keyboard and all sorts of things like that. But it's all this handy board. I haven't taken off the back, but this is a bit of acrylic that it's mounted to. I've already added an NVMe drive and I've also got a fan in here as well. So Raspberry Pi 5. And when you slot it in, it automatically boots the Pi because it's supplying power to the Pi now. And it powers lots of other 5 volt devices from the inbuilt battery inside this dock. And it's currently running Android and uh, the mouse and keyboard is all working absolutely fine with that. So if we wanted to download some apps, we can go to the Aptide store. And uh, yeah, all of the functionality is, is really as you'd expect. But if we put another operating system on this Raspberry Pi 5, so I've just put a USB stick in with Windows 11 and it's just launching now. So I now have a Windows 11 laptop, obviously with something sticking out the side, but that's part of the flexibility of it. For someone like me who tests lots of devices, I really like the fact that you can just plug all sorts of things into it. So what other things can I plug in? After I've played a bit of Half-Life, I wouldn't usually use a trackpad for a first person shooter, but as you can see, it is working. Raspberry Pi OS was obviously going to work fine. If I launch Raspberry Pi Imager, you can see everything is working, mouse and trackpad. And again, if we go to YouTube, we'll just check the sound is working. Games or operating systems on Raspberry Pi. Yeah, no problem at all there. You can hear the sounds working fine. Here's an Xbox Series S plugged in. You can see I've got two cables plugged in here on the laptop, which is the HDMI and the USB and they're plugged in on the back of my Xbox Series S, but that's all that's plugged in. The lap dock is still using its own battery for power. And so if I launch the web browser, uh, which is a mouse supported app, some games support mouse and keyboard as well. I've been using some Office 365, but also I've been watching some YouTube videos as well. And you can see the mouse is working perfectly. But if I grab my Xbox controller, I can try a bit of gaming, Fortnite is still updating, but Riders Republic is loaded. As it's running with HDMI, there's no notable input lag at all. And it looks great. It's a nice colour actually. So let's shut that down and try something else. This is a super neat setup with this station PC. You can see I've got power plugged in and I've got a USB-C cable, which is transferring the video signal but also mouse and keyboard as well. So if I wanted to launch something like Kodi, I can do. I can do the same with the little mini PC. So let's do the same again. Let's plug in power. And I've got DisplayPort on the back here. Let's plug that into this USB-C. Okay, so that's booted up with Windows 11. As you can see, everything is working. Mouse and keyboard, if I start typing, the PSP video, yeah, all of that works. And all just through that USB-C cable, super neat setup. So I plugged it into my MacBook with just the USB-C cable and uh, it says allow accessory to connect. Do you want to connect USB 2 hub to this Mac? I'm gonna say allow. Keyboard assistant, I'm not gonna worry about that. Just gonna see what happens. Oh yeah, so the, <laughs> the mouse pad now on here uh, is controlling my Mac. So I've just set up the display so I can drag between one desktop and the other, but I can actually switch between both. You can see here, 
The trackpad is definitely nicer on my Mac, but that's to be expected. Mac trackpads are really nice to use. Uh, so if I was to open YouTube, it should be interesting to see what happens if I go back over here and pop in Lee PSP video HDR and just show a little bit of one of my videos. Yeah, that one will do. Okay, the sound is still coming out of there. You can probably adjust it to come out of this one, but uh, it's default into the Mac, which is fine. So you can do collaborative working as long as you take in turns with the other person. Now this laptop from Ace Magic, uh, which is a much cheaper laptop, doesn't support DisplayPort. So this bit doesn't work, but it does have HDMI out, which is pretty much like every laptop you can think of. So let's plug it in. And then in here, that will at least give us display. And I'd need to configure it on here because at the moment you can see it's mirroring. So if I type in display settings, tap on that, I can then change the behavior. So extend these displays and let's keep that. So we've got one and two. So if we do identify, so at the moment they're the wrong way around. So I need to just drag them this way around, put them on the same level and apply. And now, I can drag that over, so as a secondary display, and if I want to use mouse and keyboard, I still can. So I plugged in USB-C to USB-A, and just like the Mac, we now have a system where we can basically switch between the two, and both are working fine. So if I was to launch an app on here, you can see it all comes up. So I think you can tell it's super flexible. There are some more ideas I've got in my uh, Dope Display laptop video. If you want to see more things you can plug in, to an HDMI or a USB-C laptop, but pretty much everything works. I'll put a link to the Kickstarter in the description, but this is it from their page. So all in one solution, maximum convenience. So obviously I've covered quite a few of these bits already, but it also comes with a microphone. So 14 inch IPS display, 1920 by 1080 resolution, full featured USB-C, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. And as it's not powering a computer, what that means is it will tend to last for really quite a long time. Obviously, depending on the single board computer you plug in, that's going to take more power from it. So when I had a fan and an NVMe drive, that would add extra drain. 5 volt, 5 amp, which is what the Pi 5 needs. But it means that older devices will still work because all of the Raspberry Pis have been 5 volt. You can see it here set up with a Mac Mini but you'd think they'd be able to do it with just a USB-C cable like I did with my Mac. Maybe it's an old Mac. This is good for showing you the connectivity. So we've got our Type-C port, headphone jack, and I tried the headphones with the Xbox and it works absolutely fine. It transferred the sound through that and cut it from the speakers as you'd expect it to. USB-A, we've got a little barrel jack. Be nice to have seen that be USB-C as well, but then that could get confusing. Uh, another USB-A socket, mini HDMI, and also another Type-C socket. And all the details about the early bird subscription and crowdfunding are all down here. So all the function buttons are enabled by default. So if we press the F11 key, we get the battery indicator. And I haven't charged this, and it's still got, I guess that's half or over half. Uh, we've got a numlock key. We've got back and some forward and back buttons, and that's for the on-screen display. So if I press F7, you can see we've got backlight, contrast, eco, uh, and if we toggle through the settings, you can see there's all sorts on here. And you just press the back key to go back. Uh, and then we've got brightness and volume. Don't know what this one is, trackpad is it? Oh yeah, trackpad disable. Uh, and then we've got a signal which just goes between USB-C HDMI and auto, but also you can press function and escape, and then you get the padlock symbol, and then these become the ordinary F keys. So by default, they're the opposite of what a laptop would normally be. So let's press that again. So it's back to these being battery and so on. Now we had a book, just a basic book of instructions, and we also had this cable, which goes with this board for the Jetson Nano. So you can do the same sort of thing you can do with the Raspberry Pi. And there was a couple of little plastic lugs as well. Also comes with this 12 volt, 4 amp power supply, which is to charge it up. 
So really impressive. I think the screen is a really nice quality display. I'm glad they went with 1080, which is a good resolution these days. Uh, I like the way the keyboard shortcuts work. The battery life seems really good. Uh, the trackpad is decent. The sound is functional. It's like uh, just a low cost entry level laptop, really. Uh, nothing to write home about, but you have got that headphone jack so you can plug in headphones, you can plug in external speakers, and obviously most devices you'll plug in will also be Bluetooth, so you can use Bluetooth speakers as well. But definitely a device I use, uh, and I really like it. It's more functional for me than an ordinary laptop. And the fact that you can change out the operating system and the mini PC or whatever you're plugging into it, I think is really nice. If you've got a Samsung phone, uh, or like my Honor View 20 I was showing earlier on, Super useful for that. Uh, but even just to watch you know, videos from my iPhone, I can plug it in as an HDMI. I can't control it with my iPhone, but at least I can use it as a big screen to watch Netflix or something like that if I wanted to take this to a hotel room. So thanks to Alacro for sending me this to test. I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.